Oh, hello. Welcome once again to Stuff and Things, where I like to talk about stuff and occasionally even things. I'm your good friend, Bradley, and today you find me looking at the workspace for Photoshop, Adobe Photoshop, part of the Creative Cloud, something that I subscribe to every month because I have to do video editing with Adobe Premiere. I do stuff with After Effects. I do a lot of stuff with Photoshop, and I edit a lot of photos in Photoshop. I'm self-taught, never took a class or anything, so I'm not amazing at it, but I do thumbnails all the time and I do some light video editing. I like to do photography in my free time as well. And so it's interesting because I use a lot of the filters and everything. I have a picture here, hey, uh, a picture of me looking a little red-faced and one eye looking much smaller than the other. Is that a thing? Are my eyes that missized? Anyway, I have to look at lots of pictures of myself and I edit pictures of myself for thumbnails and I use filters all the time. So if we have just the workspace up here, we have the photo that I've imported in, I would go to filter. I have something called Nick Collection, um, has some good stuff. There's Color Effects Pro that I use a lot. If we click on that, it'll take a little while. And you can see, whoa, you know, there's a pro contrast, just stuff that I might use to fix up the picture a little bit. But I noticed Adobe has all these categories for filters, video, stylized, sharp, and render, pixelate, noise, distort, blur, gallery, blur, 3D. But I noticed something new, neural filters. Adobe is including neural filters. And I thought, huh, we should check these out and see if they're any good. These are supposedly AI-assisted neural filters. So what do they offer? Let's take a look. Okay, so here we go. We have all filters, skin smoothening, smart portrait, creatively adjust portraits by generating new features like expressions, facial age, ah, lighting, pose, and hair, smoothing, adjust and remove skin imperfections and acne from portraits. I could use that sometimes. Makeup transfer, attempts to apply a similar style of makeup in the eyes and mouth area from one image to another. Okay, we're not gonna be able to mix up or uh, do anything with that. Landscape mixer, mixer, style transfer, color transfer, harmonization, colorize. So it looks like some pretty cool tools and maybe some pretty powerful tools. So let's, let's dive in here a little bit and see what they can do. So let's try skin smoothening first. So we have me here zoom in a little bit. I think that's kind of dangerous, but let's do it anyway. Yeah, why is that eye so small? Weird. Okay, there I am looking very flat. I took this picture for this video. Um, not looking great. I might clean this up a little bit if I were going to post this as a screenshot or just not even choose this picture probably. But let's see if skin smoothening can help me out a little bit. Eh. <laughs> I mean, it looks a little fake. Uh, let's decrease the blur a little bit. That's not horrible. So we have smoothness. I guess that's just decreasing the amount of smoothness or increasing. If we go all the way to the right, yeah, that's a little crazy. This looks a little fake, but it's definitely doing the job. If we, let's put blur back up to 50 and then smoothness down to like 25 or so, negative 25. Yeah, I mean, it looks, it looks a little artificial, but it's not horrible. So that's something I might actually use. Let's turn it off for a second, do a little A-B comparison. Yeah, it's not bad. And if I were to zoom out, turn it on, not horrible. Let's decrease that a little bit. So smoothening, not bad. Okay, let's turn that off. Smoothening, I'm gonna give it my thumbs up. Smart portrait, now this is the thing that really interests me. <clears throat> okay, let's turn smart portrait on. Okay, there we go. Um, all right, so what is this? Auto balance combinations. Auto balance contains combinations to create more natural results. Okay, interesting. So we're looking for natural results. We don't want something that looks like it has been digitally altered. So happiness, <laughs> there's a happiness slider. Okay, that's interesting. Let's see what happens. I mean, I'm already looking, I don't know, it's a neutral expression. Let's see if I can be a little angry. Processing in the cloud. 
Looks like they have a little survey results here. Are you satisfied with the results? Okay, this is taking longer than I was anticipating. Processing, processing. <laughs> oh no. What the hell? Look at this halo around my ears and it's like my ears got swept back like a dog that's gotten excited. And what happened to my eye there? <laughs> this is ridiculous. And that was just a negative seven happiness. So I'm, I'm not totally unhappy, but a little bit unhappy. Let's go a little further. Negative 28 or whatever that is. Okay, let's be really unhappy. <laughs> How can my ears stick out when I'm unhappy? I'm not a dog. Okay, that's weird. That looks horrible. I've seen filters on Snapchat and other apps that are much better than this. Let's be happy now. <laughs> no. Okay, we're up to plus 24. <laughs> oh no, look at my teeth. Look at my teeth. Plus 44 happiness. <laughs> this is one of the most disturbing things I've ever seen in my life. Why, why do my ears have to be altered when I'm happy? When I smile, my ears don't like thrust back into my head. Let's go all the way, plus 50. Got to 50! Ah! This is remarkable. Absolutely remarkable. Remarkably bad, I have to say. Come on, Adobe. I assumed Adobe using neuro filters that they would be pretty good. Okay, so <laughs> the happiness slider, not amazing. Um, let's see. So I'm not covering up too many of these. I'm looking at my feed here. Uh, I'll tell you if it looks like I'm going to be covering something up. The only thing you can't see is that they're asking, are you satisfied with the results? And then there's expressions as well. Um, I think you can see that, but then if I click it, it also says surprise and anger. And then there's global as well. There's head direction, light direction, interesting stuff. Okay, but let's stick here. We've got facial age. So right now, here's me at my normal age. We don't have any skin smoothing or anything. So this is just my normal aged face. Let's see if I can be a little younger. We'll go negative 10 years. Let's take 10 years off. Again, why do my ears have to change? Let's turn this off. Now look at my ear. Why does that happen? Why does it thrust my ear out like that? That's so weird. And then there's this horrible halo around it. Why do my ears change when I get younger? My ears have been basically the same. I mean, they weren't this size when I was three years old, but they don't, they weren't thrusting out from my head. Okay, that's weird. Let's go 20 years. I don't know if this is years or just increments. Okay, that didn't really look much different. Let's go as young as we could possibly get. <laughs> I don't, does that look younger? I just have weird floppy ears now. All right, let's go back to zero. There's me. Let's go plus 10. Again, the ears. Why do they think my ears need to change? And I don't really look any older there. Let's go plus 25. Okay. I guess they're adding some gray, maybe a little bit of gray in the eyebrows. Oh yeah, and they're putting some wrinkles, some crow's feet there. Interesting, interesting. Let's try to center this better. Let's just do fit on screen. Let's go plus 50. Oh, yeah, all the way to 50. <laughs> it looks like I just slept wrong or something. These creases on my face. This is horrible. This is really, really bad. My earlobes are a little bit longer, it seems like. Let's see. Yeah, they added some lobe. That happens when you get older. But this is ridiculous. Remember that face app? Um... I don't know, it was a couple years ago, everyone was using it. I tried it, and it worked pretty well. It looked, I mean, not amazingly convincing, but it certainly looked better than this. I don't know what these lines are, what is going on there. This is ridiculous. Okay, let's go back to zero. Let's fit on screen. 
Hair thickness isn't going to work because I have a hat on, but let's just see. Plus 50, is it going to make my beard? <laughs> oh, no. It took away my beard, but it added, I guess that's supposed to be hair. This is, this is a joke, right? This is ridiculous. Let's unthicken the hair. Okay, see, that made my beard thicker. But it seems like it was trying to take hair away from my temples, maybe? That is... That's just not good. Okay, Adobe, you're 0 for 3, 0 for 4 now. I guess the skin smoothening wasn't bad. Let's try eye direction. So let's say I want to look to the left a little bit. Okay, that sort of works. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, let's zoom in here. You can still see this little halo around. Let me take that off. See, so you don't see the bottom of my eyelid properly when I do this. But it's not bad. That could be somewhat convincing, I guess. Let's go the other direction. <laughs> that looks a little weirder. Okay, so eye, detecting, eye detection or eye direction, not horrible. Now we have expression. This is where I'm assuming things are going to get interesting. They have surprise and anger. Let's see if I can be... So it's weird that I could be less surprised. I don't think I could be any less surprised than I look right now, but let's go a little bit to the left on the slider. <laughs> what is going on with that eye? What the hell is that? That's the not surprised eye? And the ear. What is with the ear? Okay, let's do as, as not surprised as I could possibly be. <laughs> no words for it. Okay, now let's try surprised. We've got back to zero. Let's do 10 surprise. Okay, I can see my mouth change a little bit. Again, the ridiculous ear thing. I don't know what that's about. And the weird eye thing. Let's do 25 surprise. I like that there are surprise units that you can use. Okay. And now 50 surprise. <laughs> no. What is wrong with my teeth? My bottom teeth do not look all snaggly like that. What is going on? What is going on, Adobe? I could do Photoshop's just using Adobe Photoshop. I could alter my face to make it look better than this. Wow. Okay. Surprise. Back down to zero. What about anger? Here I just have a neutral expression, kind of a pleasant face. Let's make me not angry. By 20. Negative 20 anger. Okay, it's looking somewhat like the not surprised. <laughs> okay, here is the least anger I could be. Least angry. Negative 50. Again, don't know what's going on with that eyeball. Pretty weird. Pretty strange expression on the face. Let's go back to zero. And let's see how angry I could get. Plus 20 anger. There we go. Does that look angry to you? Okay, let's do, let's go all the way to 50. 50 anger. Mm, I'm pissed. <laughs> this is Adobe's neural filter feature. This. I mean, I guess I sort of look pissed off, but I don't look like a human being anymore. Okay, back to zero on the anger. We do have head direction. Let's see if I can tilt my head a little bit. <laughs> so the top of the head doesn't change. Let's go all the way. This has to be a joke. This can't be real. Let's go here. Opposite. This is insane. This is insanity. Okay, let's do uh, fix head alignment. They're not going to let me do that. So if I do head direction, we move it to the side. Then it says fix head alignment. Is that going to make it alter? Oh, okay. So you can mix that a little bit in to align it with the top of my head slightly better, except the top of my head hasn't changed. So let's say if I had my hair exposed, I had a part or like a widow's peak, it would shift my face to the side and then the widow's peak would still be directly in front, which would look ridiculous. 
oh my God, this is, this is really bad. I'm assuming this is like in beta or something, but I, I cannot believe how bad this is. Let's go all the way to the right. Yeah, that's, that's something Adobe. All right, light direction. You're not seeing this on your screen anymore, but it's over on the left side of the screen or the right side of the screen. Light direction, we're changing. Okay, so it's only doing it on the face, which is kind of a problem. I guess I could maybe change this bounding box, possibly. But that's, you know, it doesn't look super realistic, but it's kind of doing what it says. Light direction. Okay. So what have we learned here today, gang? The neural filters in the smart portrait, I guess, what would you call this? Just feature set for Adobe Photoshop. They are horrible. So there you go, gang. Did the new Adobe neural filters make me happy? Or did they make me sad? I think you know the answer.